the past of the women's basketball team, it's been an impressive year so far. Our women's basketball reporter, Philip Sanzo, was there to cover the team's matchup against conference opponent St. Bonaventure on Saturday. Let's see how Kim Pierre-Louis and the Minute Woman fared against the Bonnies at home. UMass played host to St. Bonaventure this past Saturday in a midday women's basketball contest. The Minute Woman started off strong, Emily Mattal with the lobbing pass to Rashida Timbilla, who lays it up and in for two. Mattal on the other end of the assist this time, receiving a pass from Leah McDermott and shoots a wide open three pointer. St. Bonaventure would not fall far behind though, Kay Healy making a tough jumper to keep it close. And then later, Ashley Zahn hits one from beyond the arc. The scoring did not stop for the Bonnies. Nyla Ruder also hits a three-pointer and had 22 points on the afternoon. UMass had a hard time taking advantage of St. Bonaventure's mistakes. They failed to convert the defensive rebound on multiple occasions. Their handling of the ball was careless as seen here on Emily Mattal's turnover, a pass intended for Kim Pierre-Louis. The Bonnies did not let up, Kay Healy making the acrobatic layup in serious traffic. UMass fell to St. Bonaventure 77-57, and their record falls to 8-12 on the season. Welcome back to UMass Sports Weekly. I'm here with Phil Sanzo, our women's basketball reporter. And yep. Phil, I'm going to start out with, this year it's been much better than past Absolutely. years. I mean, last year... I could probably count how many wins they had on, on one hand. It takes two hands now. Yeah, now it takes two hands, which is uh, definitely a positive yeah. thing going forward for this team. Absolutely. What's been different this year, Phil? What's been the change uh, in, in culture? Really, the, the men and women, they've gotten a lot younger from the past years. They have five new freshmen on the team now, and it, they're starting to build a young nucleus of players that might actually catapult them in for, further seasons. And they're playing, they're playing a lot better defense right now. Um, this year, uh, this year, uh, this year, they have opponents have only scored 87 more points than they did. Opposed to last year, it was 528 over the course of the season. So you do the math; that's a lot of points. So the men are definitely playing. Minute women are definitely playing a lot better defense. Yeah, I can, I can, I can tell. Can you tell me um, what players or or who has really made the change on defense for the men and women? I mean, I know most people don't know the roster, and most people don't know. The, the players on this team. So tell them what players have really stepped up and made this change. You always have Kim Pierre-Louis, obviously. She's, she's definitely a uh, stud there on the team. And then you have Sierra Dillard. She's the best freshman, I think, in my opinion, on the team right now. Offensively, she has scored 204 points, and that's second most on the team. And she's definitely helped bolster the defense quite a lot. Um, right now, this, the opponents are only averaging about 64.5 points per game, and that's opposed to last year, they were averaging 79.9 points a game. 15-point differential right there. It's made a difference definitely on the, definitely on, on the record. Oh, wow. So, Phil, I've asked everybody this, and I'm going to ask you the same question. What can we expect from this team going forward for the rest of the season? Um, what do you think is going to happen with this team? You know, it's, it's not, it's not going to, they're 8-12, and 12, it's not a flowering record at all. But for them, considering they only won, I believe, four games last year, 8-12, and 12, it's definitely an improvement. They have about eight games left in the season. Don't see them winning the majority of them. I definitely see them, they're going to knock, they're playing some really good teams. Um, I see them probably winning 10 games this year. So two more games, that'll be double digits for the first time, I believe, like five years. So that's definitely going to be an improvement. The one thing men and women need to improve on, though, is they're, they're not taking advantage of their opportunities. They're getting a lot of rebounds. They're just not converting on the rebounds at all. I, from the St. Bonaventure game, I can recall numerous times where they rebounded the ball, got down the court, and then just laid it up and missed. Just flat out missed under the, right under the, right under the net. So. They need to improve that side. They want to win more games now in the future, but defense is definitely a plus. It's kept them, it's kept them relevant, and it gives hope for the upcoming, upcoming seasons. So no conference tournament this year? You don't uh, see any of that? Not at all. Not at all? They, but you got to give them respect for where they've come. I don't think many people expected them to be 8-12 and 12 this, so far this year, and I personally think they'll get 10 wins. And for that team, for a team that only won four games last year, it's definitely, that's something to be proud of. Well, that's good to hear, Phil. I know in your package it was a, it was a tough game for the men and women. Yeah. They, they lost by 20, but that doesn't show how they performed overall this no. season. No, really, really, that's only been the past the past four games. They lost four straight, and it's really because they're just they're just not scoring enough points. 
they're not taking advantage of their opportunities and it's, it's hurting them in the last four games. But hopefully over this next last third of the season, last, last eight games, they could get it back together, take advantage. They have a little break now, a couple of few days before their next game. So again, next game against um, Rhode Island, they can get some points on the board there and keep the defense the way it's going. Should be able to win some more games. So we'll look for uh, Pierre, Louis, and Dillard to score some points Absolutely. in the next couple of games. And Absolutely. We, we really need them to, uh, to step up and get back to the way they were playing at the beginning of the year, right? Yep. All right. Thanks, Phil. Well, that'll do it for us tonight here at UMass Sports Weekly. And we look forward to covering another wonderful semester of UMass Athletics. Before we go, I want to wish Mark John Louis a happy birthday. He's not with us tonight. He's on the road covering games. So happy birthday to you, Mark. And thanks for watching us right here on Channel 19. And enjoy that beautiful weather out there. Have a good night, UMass.